Hello! Welcome to DevGuy. Tanaka Sensei here. Uh, let's start. Hello, and welcome to the life of a dev guy. The man you see in front of you is Warren. He's the dev guy you will be controlling. All you need to do is help him upload his game onto the App Store. Unfortunately, Warren's computer crapped out and lost his data. Luckily, Warren has a backup on a jump drive in his car. You just need to get him to it and upload the game. You control Warren's movements with the arrow keys and use E to interact with objects. When Warren attains a new item, it will be assigned to the R key and will appear where the red arrow is. If you ever wish to quit this game at any time, just hit escape to go to the main menu. Fair warning, this game does not save. You have been warned. Sorry if that blew anybody's eardrums. Good luck helping Warren get his data back. And most of all, have fun! Alright, let's see. Uh, this is my desk. Not much to say about it past it being my desk. Yeah. TV doesn't work though. Why do I even have this thing? I feel the same way about my old computer. Why do I even still have it? Ah, the door feels jammed. Pushing it does nothing. I'll have to go around. Hmm, vent, eh? Maybe if I can unscrew the supports, I can sneak to the other side. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bookcase full of books on dystopic sci-fi novels like Batshit Max F Oh sweet, it's my trusty flathead. Can't leave the office without this little guy. <laughs> well, that's one way to unscrew. Just hold over the whole time. Oh well, it's open now. doesn't understand the difference between a pull door and a push door. Apparently this guy. Looks like a crime scene for Miss Lonely Heart's dead cat. I'll have to find a way around. A crime scene for a cat? Cat probably died of old age. Guy walking just sounds too cute. Disappointing. I was really looking forward to judging that game. All these books are blank. Maybe they're there to just make the place look busy. <laughs> it's Idio Baka's female body pillow girl, Natasha. Why am I even looking at this? Cause it's sexy. And very anime. Sounds so cute. Oh, jeez. Somebody's a brony in here. Oh, these beds look the same. This complex must not really value the people who live in it. Notice the bubbles his smoking makes. Please, who 
locked. Door is locked. My one weakness. I'll have to get it in another way. Pretty certain his hands are in his pockets. But the way he stands kind of reminds me of Homestuck. Uh, if this doesn't scream out gaming nerd, I don't know what does. I remember these consoles. I also remember breaking mine. These cartridges are blank. These must be for homebrew games. Hmm. Like this one? I do not envy the poor soul that has no to sleep on this thing. Sidestepping? <laughs> Great, your car got towed. You'll have to find a phone to call the towing agency. Hmm. What's this? Nothing, apparently. I believe I saw a phone in this room. Cabe's doing. This is Cabe. Hmm. Cabe, it's Warren. Well, you guys just towed my car. Oh, shoot. Really? Yeah, really. Alright, let's see if we have it. What kind of car is it? Hmm. It's a black Buick Electra. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Why? What's wrong? I just got back from towing a black Buick Electra. Hmm. Damn it, Cabe. What the fuck? What? Your license plate said tow me, so... I did what it asked. That's not an excuse for towing it. Heh, <laughs> I suppose you're right. Sorry about that, man. Uh, just bring it back. Alrighty, I'll be down in a bit. Hmm, sounds like Cave just pulled up. Wow, oh, if only it was this fast in real life. And my cats are bouncing all over the place. Okay, hmm. where are you? Ah, there you are. Wow, you showed up fast. Well, my place is just two blocks down. That would have been convenient if you didn't tow my car in the first place. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I saw you left your car unlocked, so I locked it up for you. Hmm. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Yeah, man, I got you back on this stuff, bro. Hmm. I appreciate your concern, but that means I gotta go back upstairs to get my key car keys now. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, man. Hmm. It's alright. I'll be right back. So, what's that? Oh. The Baroniest Pony. <laughs> uh, what? Oh shit, that song came from outside. Better check it out. What'd he do to my car? What the hell? Okay, why is my car window busted? Well, I felt bad about locking your car, so I broke the window and unlocked it for you. Seriously, Cave, what the fuck? Hey, man, may I, my, I made up for my mistake by opening the car for you. I just saved you a trip, bro. You broke my fucking window! Eh, well, um, sorry? It doesn't matter anymore. Now that it's unlocked, I can finally get my jump drive out. 
Oh, you mean this thing? Why didn't you say so? I had it with me the whole time. Damn it, Cave! What the fuck? Well, I figured no one would be using it after I had towed the car, so I took it for myself. I'm sorry. Just give it back my jump drive and we'll put this behind us. Alright, well, I'll be heading back now. Good luck with that game, man. Sorry about your car. Again. Now that I got my jump drive, I think it's time to upload this game and move on with life. After a series of annoyances, you finally have your hard-earned backup on hand. Oh, and this is the life of a deaf guy. Simple, a little rough in some parts, but genuinely... Wait a minute. This jump drive is empty. FUCK! Cabe must have formatted the damn thing and lost the data. Ah, no I'm not! Alright. No need to panic. You lost all your data, and your publishing license expires tomorrow. Take that back. This is the prime time to panic. Panic's like there's no fucking tomorrow! It's all over. You failed to help Warren get his game on the App Store and build his career. You're doomed! Wait a minute. There are other developers in this building. You may have a chance yet. All you need to do is take the jump drive, head to other apartments, and do a little source hacking. Hmm. Alright, there are five devs in this place, so there are five games to source hack. Let's do this! He's still dead. Uh, mm, Alright, this is a game made by Siam Shark. He makes good games, but is just a big jerk about it. Supposedly, this is his masterpiece, where you learn the trials of the human heart. The following could be a very strange and overrated game. Super Heart Rate Simulator! Oh, fun. This is Stick. Stick is an ordinary human stick figure, heart and all. In this game, you are in charge of Stick's heart rhythm. The blue bar you see is Stick's heart rate, and the green bar beside it is his tolerance meter. Your job is to keep Stick's heart rate in the green zone by pressing the heart button. If Stick's heart rate is in the red zone, his tolerance will go down. If his tolerance reaches zero, Stick will have a heart attack. Let's try to keep Stick alive while he's standing to test what you've learned. Just press the heart button every time you think he's reaching the red zone. If you ever want to push the quiz, press the F key. So I made that last one a little fast. Oh well. Well done! You seem to know what you're doing. So let's begin level two, one, shall we? Yeah, short tutorial. Phase one, walking to work. Sorry, I wasn't reading that. I didn't realize I was supposed to be reading! Stay slow, 9 to 5. Ah. Long and boring. Suddenly, six bucks shows up. Not only did you give Stick a heart attack, but you then freak out his boss, causing him to have a heart attack as well. Now you're a common bolt of dude lies who's taken. Way to go, partner. Let's do this again. Um, no. Well, that was definitely something. <laughs> Indeed. Guess this game could be useful somewhere. Better to jump drive this game anyway. Maybe some game fanatics will like this. 
Alright, that's one game out of the way. Four more to go. <sighs> Let's see, game two. It's black, so I'll have to find a passcode to use it. in this boring room. Alrighty, this is Dave Bage's computer. Uh, yes, I know I, I mispronounced it. Dave Beige. There, that better. He has supposedly made an art house masterpiece. Oh, if that's the case, you need to source hack it to add artistic appeal to your game. Let's just pray that it doesn't just attract too many hipster deadbeats to the game seed. Alright, enough talk. Let's source hack this bitch! The return! You wake up with your head hurting. You can't remember who you are anymore. Almost like an explosive case of amnesia. <laughs> you need to remember yourself and her as well. Oh, oh. It's locked. I can't open it. It's locked. Okay, fine. Uh, what's with the lock? I guess there's only one choice. Sister, what the fuck? Huh? Really? The crap was that? It wasn't even a single puzzle through the whole thing. I agree. Good luck! Oh, this whole game looks like a bust! Hacking this was a horrid waste of time! But wait. It seems there are critically acclaimed re reviews for the game saying how good it is. Such reviews going as far as saying anyone who thinks differently of this game should be sentenced to death out of the lack of creative thinking. Huh? Perhaps it is worth taking this data anyway. Maybe it will serve as some nice hipster bait. Sweet. Two games done. Three more to go. I call plagiarism on that. And I don't even like ponies. Locked. Uh, huh, still locked. 